Hey guys, so today we have a toy opening. I've been trying to make content for YouTube, but it's been a little difficult. My health hasn't been the best. I think everybody's having health concerns right now with the whole COVID-19, coronavirus, everything. Um, today, while I'm filming this, I'm hoping to get this posted same day, but I'm not sure when it'll actually get out there. Uh, but today for me is March 16th, and I live in Maryland. We are currently today at 5 p.m. shutting down all restaurants with bars, like sit-down restaurants, any gyms and movie theaters are going to be shut down, and we're trying to avoid any more than six people, I think to a small area, uh, so things are getting a little stressful. My fiance currently works at an airport and there are cases in the airport that were confirmed. Uh, most of them have gone through quarantine and are okay now, but the, um, the virus was still there. So my health concerns have me doing my best to not touch things, get things that, I'm doing my best to stay healthy through all this, and I hope you guys are too. Remember to wash your hands, stay updated on the news, do your facts, research, everything. I can't speak today. Sorry, I've typed this out on a bunch of posts. I'm just trying to make sure everybody's safe. But beyond that, thanks for listening to this little minute and a half or so of me rambling about the current virus of the world. Um, but the actual video that you're here for is toy opening. Woo! We have a Crybabies. This is, I think, the newer series. Um, this is my moose friend. He sits with me, and this is the littlest pet shop back from when I was a kid. He's got the little bobblehead and the little magnet to hold him up. Look at, look at my little buddy. Look at my little buddy. Don't you guys miss those? Anyway, um, oh, he's okay. He has to, like, balance on my moose. There we go. He's from 2004. Isn't that crazy? Gosh, there's, like, whole teenagers that didn't even exist when this was made. That's I'm old. By the way, I'll still be in quarantine in our stakes. We're gonna be um we're gonna be under this quarantine kind of state till I think they said for eight weeks. That's two months. Two months, guys. My birthday is April twelfth, <laughs> Easter. So uh quarantine party. Are we gonna start having like speakeasies, but instead of the alcohol being the uh, illegal thing, it's the people. We're not allowed to be around people. People are illegal. All of us. We're not allowed. I'm not allowed because I'm using my teeth to open a toy. Gosh, I'm not five. Okay, let's get this plastic off so we can actually get into this. Um, it's enough real life stuff. Let's go into the fantasy land of crybabies. These are the Magic Tears Fantasy Series, Winged House. So it's got little wings, isn't that cute? I have never opened a Crybabies before, so this is all new to me, but I saw them in the Toy Fair 2020. So this... Something just happened with some of the pets. Who knows? We're gonna set this guy just right over here for now. And I'm gonna read a little bit more of this packaging. So the plastic came off and it's just got a little paper and some plastic shell around it. That seems to be the only outside plasticky kind of packaging. Uh, we got kit tunes and a YouTube symbol. So I assume they have a show. I actually know nothing about these. Uh, not only have I never opened them, I know nothing besides what I saw in the two videos. <laughs> two videos I watched um but they looked super cute and I decided that I needed them but I didn't want to get the bigger doll versions because one they're more expensive and two I don't have a place for even these so um it looks really cool though it seems like a kind of different themed lol kind of thing everything's mystery toys but um nine surprises we got a doll a bottle a pacifier a uh, bow or bibs, like an outfit, a uh, chair or wagon accessory, personalized blanket, personalized sticker sheet, and two surprise accessories. So again, that seems a little similar to the LOL concept, but I know they look very different, and I'd really like to see the differences. I know these ones cry only, like that's their feature. Cry babies, obviously. Um, but they have like a crying function in their face. <laughs> 
Um, and I prefer that actually to the LOL concept because the LOL dolls, I like the color changing and the crying is okay. I'm just not fond of any like potty toys. I don't know. I don't like the bathroom baby dolls. They don't make sense to me. So there was a little sticker on top, not even a sticker, it was like a piece of tape and that was holding it closed. So now we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna kind of go like this. So hopefully I don't drop anything. Look at my little Tyrannosaurus, I'm a freaking dinosaur. Look at me, I'm so bony. This is actually a little difficult to open. Okay, now we got it open. Oh, that's nice. Okay, it's kind of gonna open flat-ish so I can show you guys. This is some foil packaging, that's cute set that right there um these are instructions and warnings we'll look at that in a second this i think will probably be our collector's guide so we'll set that there the rest of this seems to be the surprises so i'm going to set them down in front of me and we're going to look at these little paper doohickeys first because you want to know what you're doing before you do it just in case um because i can break things easily okay this just says don't give it to a kid under three because they might choke and die and that would be bad uh, don't do that with your kids. Um, this is a purely collector video, by the way. I am not a child and I'm not advertising to children. Um, hence the entire first few minutes being about a virus. This is aimed towards parents who want to see what, um, what's in your toys that you might get for your kids or for collectors who just really enjoy the nostalgia of these mystery collectibles. These kind of remind me of the craze of the Baby Alive or Little Alive ones back when I was young. But um, I almost like get Water Baby vibes from them. I don't know if you guys know the Water Babies, but my version of the Water Baby when I was young had the little outfit. Mine was a Care Bear with a little Sleepy Time Moon. Anyway, distraction. Hi, Toshi. be in the background so the winged house series we have a mystery diamond accessory you could find so that must be like the rare um the rare of the dolls is this little looks like a pinata themed llama doll then there's cory sasha lila lady molly lala tuka coney lucy patty nelly and bonnie they're really cute like I'm trying to identify all of these creatures like I'm not I think it's a peacock a unicorn that's some sort of dragonfly I think obviously a ladybug that's another little bug guy maybe a lightning bug um patty seems to be maybe like a pink monkey uh, there's a bunny and a mouse I think what is Nelly I want Nelly a little fish person and I love Bonnie little teddy bear looking I think this might be a toucan. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to really, like, see these guys in 3D form. So, it says they come with the pacifier, the bottle, the, like, toy chair or whatever, and the bib, blanket, all the stuff we saw on the outside, right? You get them to cry by feeding them with the bottle, and they have a cork in the back of their head to drain it. I love that. That is one of my concerns with the LOL dolls, and why I don't, um, why I don't use the water features on them. I don't want them to get all messy. So I realized that while I'm looking through all this, it has who you get on the back, which is really nice. I like that um for younger kid toys which this is aimed towards younger kids i believe i'm gonna pull my doll out and set her separately and yes all of this is themed specifically to the doll so let's look at our little accessories real quick shall we this is a sticker sheet which is super adorable and i can see from the inside of this that these stickers will decorate your house which is something that i remember from being a kid and loving to do so i think this is a great oh my hamster He's okay. He's, he's just like in crazy today. But um, I would definitely recommend this as a good um, option for parents. It's gonna give 
not only a structure for you to play with and the toys necessary to play, but it has the mystery aspect that most kids look for these days, as well as the playset accessories that are harder to come by. So the doll isn't wrapped in plastic. The only plastic I actually have in here is this, which is like a more of a mystery pouch, I guess. Our little doll is in here. Let me show you to her since I know who it is now. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so first off, the, there's a little bit of paint smudging, little factory defect, but I think honestly that I can clean it up real quick. Um, but this is, what was her name? Lala. Do your legs move? Their legs are movable. So there is some sitting to standing function. The whole doll is made of a squishy kind of vinyl, which I enjoy. Um, I really like the texture. The hands are a little creepy. Not gonna lie, they got a little bit of a creepiness in the hands, but I think I'll get past it. There is a creepiness to the whole doll, these giant eyes, but I really do like them. If you look at them in a kind of chibi way, it's really cute. These are definitely a collector's doll that I could see sitting on a shelf in a little family. I can also see them as a great kid's toy because this whole setup is really great for playtime. But honestly, I think I might just collect these to have as an adult and just get the whole series. I'm definitely going to try out the water function because they have this lovely little plug on the back. So let's see. It's just like a water gun. So it's not going to come all the way out of the head. You don't have to worry about losing that. Let's try it. Oh, you got to squish their head to push it back in. But that's okay. Um, movable arms as well. So we've got two joints. They can do quite a few poses. That's super cute. It's a little ear. This is the blanket. It is, as they said, personalized. So we can just like wrap that right there. Try and get her to hold it. Real cute. Look at me, little baby. Okay, I like this a little more than I should. Can you ride on my little moose friend? I wonder. There. Now, la la. Lala, 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 Lala. It's over here and over here. Lala is gonna sit there. So let's take a look at the rest of the house and this lovely little mystery bag. I think we're gonna do the mystery bag first because I, I just want to open it. Okay, let's open this one up. It says Cry Babies Magic Tears Fantasy. So it's got their logo on the outside and it's a fun holographic bag. And I think what in inside here is our little play set. Kind of thing and I believe we got the chair so the options were the chair or um goodness where did it say that chair or wagon yeah so we got a chair I'm trying not to drop our little house that's sitting on my lap so this it's just like a two-piece little blue chair they're both made of glitter plastic I think this might fit better once I have the doll in it, but it's got a little table. Well, just a little baby chair. Cute little, oh, cute little heart on the back. So let's grab Lala and see how she fits. Give me that blankie real quick. Thank you. So we're just gonna get her legs in a nice little sitting position. <laughs> She's so big in comparison to this little chair. Oh goodness, I'm not even, I'm not sure these are the appropriate size. Although if they were bigger, they'd probably look silly. I'm gonna try and set this on a surface over here in hopes that that helps this situation because right now I'm having a little bit of difficulty, which may cause people not to want to play with this function. Okay, it's working okay-ish. It just takes a little bit of fumbling. But there she is sitting in her little chair. Oh, we love it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is scoot Mr. Moose over. Sorry, guy. You're gonna set my little hamster in your pouch and scoot over for right now. And we're gonna move my tissue box over, shifting some things, because I think I can just set her. Oh, it's okay, Lala, you could do it. Let's see, as I said, it's a little slippy. I'm gonna set her right there, because then you guys can see her while I do the rest of this. So the instructions don't really tell you about any of this house stuff, but I can see little breakaway doorways and stuff. And I saw mentioned in the new series that they don't have this as much. It's more of a turnstile, so you don't have to break open the background. But I'm just going to try and do this delicately 
so I can maybe tape it back together, I guess, or just leave them as little windows to hide things in. So I open this first window first, the biggest one, and I'm pulling out what seems to be the bottle. It's a little stuck. Um, anyone who isn't trying to keep this intact, aka a bean of the younger age, probably would rip that apart. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about the newer series versus these series. Here's the little bottle. It's got a matte glitter type of color on the pink, almost like bubble yum bubble gum. And it almost has that texture too without the stickiness. Um, sometimes those vinyls have like a powdery texture to them. I don't know if you know what I mean, but that's, that's what this feels like. It's got the same little wings and heart as the house does on the outside. So they look the same, which is nice. And it's got a pearlescent purple top with a little sippy and it's a basic pinch and fill water bottle. So we can take that over to the sink in a minute, fill it up and give Lala a little bit of water and check out that tear function, which is the main selling point of this doll. But before we do that, we're gonna finish going through these. All right, so we have what appears to be five more windows. I'm gonna go, since we did the biggest one first, I'm gonna go over to this one over here, which is smaller. I'm just gonna push on it lightly. I'm kind of like pushing around the breakaway line in hopes that I don't tear it off. This is the little bib, so cute. Okay, so it's really hard to see the design on it, but it's got a little pacifier kind of outside design and the little ribbon of bumps on the outside, very cute. Again, it's a basic plastic, very much like the high chair. I'm gonna try and just pop that on. It might be easier to put that on before you stick them in the chair, but I got it done. And now they've got a whole different look. I personally don't like this blue against the mint of Lala, but I don't know if the chairs just come in different colors, if it was random or whatnot. We're going into this pocket on the other side. Next, we open it up and that looks to be an accessory. Let's see what we've got. Interesting. We've got a deck of playing cards. There is the Ace of Spades, Clovers, and Hearts. They're a little purplish, maybe magenta, dark magenta color, kind of grape juicy with little sparkles and a little silver sparkles and a little mouse design. You can see that better than the pacifier. There's a mouse on the back of each card, which is kind of cute. And I think if I try hard enough, I can get this into their little Lego hand. Come on, Lala. Maybe. I'm not going to try too hard today. I don't want to break them. We're just going to set those right there on their high chair. That's fine. They're not a, they're not a card player yet. That's, that's okay. They can learn. Um, we have three more. So let's go back to the biggest one again. That one opened real easy. I was worried I might rip it. So inside this big one we have, oh my goodness, this makes those cards even better. It's a little cape of the same color. It's a little darker almost, but I think that's just because the mold was bigger. It's got the same sparkles and the big mouse on the back, but he's wearing a top hat and it's got stars because it's a magician's cape. He's a mouse magician. I love it. I'm gonna set this right here and open the rest of the pouches, but then we're gonna put him in his hole. I've decided it's a him now. Or a they. You know what, it's a baby. It's a baby mouse. We don't need to worry about its gender. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm so excited. Magician baby. Okay, let's open up these last two. One of them has a big question mark, so I'm leaving that for last. So let's pull this out. It seems to be the binky, little pacifier. Same blue as the high chair. And I will put that in your little mouth for now. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. It fits well. It's not going to fall out, which is nice. Let's open that up. I'm assuming you're going to have to put the pacifier in to make it cry so that the tears don't just come back out the mouth. I can't even fit my tiny little finger inside of the mystery one. It feels to be like maybe cardboard in there though. Interesting. Hold on. What are you? I swear if that's a tiny little bunny, like... I'm gonna cry. Oh no, it's not. 
in there. Oh, I ripped the box, but that's okay. It is a little cardboard that's got shruggy hands and it's a little tinker. I don't know what that means. Where's my, where's my paper? What does that little thing mean? I just want to know. I am confusion. Maybe that's meaning you didn't get the rare mystery thing? I have no idea. That little teardrop is not mentioned anywhere. So let's dress up Lala real quick. And then after that, we're gonna stick the stickers on the inside of this house and we should be done. All right. Oh, how could I forget we have to have them cry too? Okay, we're gonna take you right out of this high chair and I'm gonna set these aside for now so I don't knock them over while completing the rest of our little tutorial here. We have the bib, which we will, you know what, keep on for this little crying adventure, setting our magician's gear right over here. And now we're gonna get a little cup of water. Are you ready, guys? A little cup of water ready for our cry baby. Ta -da. We got a little cup of water. It's a little golden cat design cup. I love this cup. I have a little table over here I can set this down on. Lovely. All right, so I'm gonna stand you back up just cause it's easier to hold that way. Let's look at the pacifier. Look at that, isn't it so cute? Okay, we're gonna pull that out for now, set it over here and take our little bottle. Sit right here, Lala. I'm gonna pinch, insert into water and fill it up. So it's got the water in it there. So let's do it again, just cause I wanted to demonstrate how it did. Okay, all filled. Yeah, I don't know why that, I don't know why I found that funny. Okay, so we're gonna just give the little bottle in the mouth and then squeeze. And you can definitely feel the water going in there. I don't know how many times you have to fill, but I'm gonna do it at least another time because it doesn't seem to be yeah, this head is going to take a lot of water. Wow, you can almost see, you can see it, what? Am I supposed to fill this whole thing? How many times do you have to, f is that why they're crying? Because you're like filling their brain with water? I feel like these tears are going to jet stream if I squeeze the head too hard. Okay, this is going to be funny now. This is again why this is not for kids. This this video is meant purely for collectors and or parents, not actual chills. Okay, I feel drippage there. Oh, hello eyes. Wait, those are blue. Those eyes are blue. If the tears are blue, why are they blue? I, I'm not blue. Is there blue in this? Does this doll have blue in it? Why is it blue? We're gonna dump out the water so I have a place for them to cry into. I'm gonna set out a few tissues so I don't make a mess. Our bottle is now empty and our baby is ready. You can see that right there, let's move it up. Okay, I have itchy allergies are just so bad this year. So what we're gonna do is take the pacifier and stick it in, oh my gosh, those tears are blue. Those are like blue, blue. Hold on, let me get you a little cry. Look at that, can you see that? They're blue. Okay, we're gonna put this into the cup. What are you gonna go you cry? Oh my God, it is gonna jet stream, ready? <sighs> Laser eyes. <laughs> the bib fell off. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so blue. What? Cry, baby, cry. Okay, that's a little too much. I'm being dramatic. Let's actually see how this is supposed to look because it's really cute when you do it right. And a little squeeze. Oh, it's a crying baby. <laughs> okay, so I don't feel like keeping all of this water in their heads, so I'm gonna test out the other function, which is this little stopper. 
And then we're gonna pour all this out, and I guess that's the last of the blue, unless this blue coloring stays in the head somehow. There's a whole bunch in the body too. Well, the whole body's got a water cavity. What? How do I get this out? Okay, so the plug is cool, but I've still got a lot of water left over in this head. So I guess Lala's gonna be blue inside. Now see, I have the strongest urge to drink this and I'm not going to, I'm gonna pour it out right now. But, um, why is it blue? <laughs> Why was I unaware of this? They, do they come in different colors or is it all blue? Cause it's like blue tears. I hope it only comes in blue. Cause that's like cute. If it was red, I'd be concerned. So I feel like it would be weird to make it other colors. I'm gonna assume it's all blue. Oh, I didn't even notice. They have a little tail. Aww. Okay, we're gonna keep your pacifier in because you do still have a little bit of water in you. But then we're gonna dress you up, Lala. So first of all, this adorable little cape. I wish they had a hat. I'm going to take your little set of cards and again, try and put them in. There we go. Look at that. Cape cards. A little magician in the works. Pick a card, any card. So cute. I'm going to sit you back in the sitting position and have you just stay right over here for a minute. They can sit up in the cape. That's really nice. We're going to grab that house again and put all our stickers on it. Doesn't that sound fun? Okay, let's open it up. Okay, inside we have all of the cavities these came in. So we can put our stuff back in there. I'm gonna put the bottle back in the bottle window. They're not gonna be able to close back as easily. Sorry, Lala. But the things will go in there for easy storage, which I appreciate. And then the chair, I'm just, I'll be sitting in there because it's kind of sitting in there. It'll all go back easy, but it becomes a play set. And I'm going to stick some stickers in it um, and show you what it looks like. So we got a little Lala picture sticker. Let me put some pictures on the walls. That's going to be cute. A little one of a mouse friend of Lala's. That's super cute. We have maybe a little plant. Stick that over here. Yeah. Oh, this is getting really clumsy. Let's try again. There we go. That's nice. And how about one of these window things? You can stick a window on the outside. That would be cool. I'm gonna put it just like right out here on the front. On half of that heart. Oh, I creased it a little bit, but doesn't that look cute? Uh, I love dice, obviously. So, the table and it's a little clumsy, but here's a little setup. So we got some stickers. We got all our stuff put away. And if you want, you can like set this out like this and it becomes it becomes a little playhouse for the crybaby. And you can set their little high chair or wagon in there, obviously not on a tissue box. That's just the space I've got. You've got your doll, you've got your playhouse, a whole little accessory pack with the magician's kit. We have a blankie, so when it's nap time, the doll can take a nap too. Cute little stickers, always fun. I think this is a 10 out of 10 toy and I will probably be getting a few more just because they are so cute. Um, but that's all I have for this video today. So thank you guys for opening this doll with me and thanks for coming back to my channel. Subscribe if you want to. I do a lot of different content and I'll be trying, oof, trying to do more soon. But right now I have a few toy videos and other review opening kind of videos. Soon I will be having my makeup tutorials up. I know a lot of people have been asking for those. So I have heard your requests and I am working on them. They will be coming out next. But 
For now, I have a lovely little Lala who is going back in their box saying goodnight. A little blankie. Closing up that box so it seals all together. Good to go. Easy storage. We love it. Come back to see more. Come back for makeup tutorials very soon. Hopefully in the next few weeks. Obviously, since we're going to be under quarantine. Lots of time to work. <laughs> But yeah, stay safe. I hope you all are having an okay time with all the stress. Um, let me know if you like the crybabies, if you've ever tried them, if you plan on going and getting one or collecting any yourself. <coughs> oh no, cough, cough. Again, I'm fine. It's pretty much just allergies, but I'm doing my best to stay safe. I'm so tired, but this was worth it. Thanks for joining me again, guys. All right, gotta go, bye.